Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. It is 8.01 in the morning. Right and early, um, we're going getting signed on, getting our registration board, and today is practice day. Just give you a quick rundown on what's going on today. So I'm gonna go and register now and get my number board, which is probably gonna be quite a high number because I haven't done an Enduro World Series race this year. I'm just hoping it doesn't rain too bad so I can show you guys, you know, what practice is like, but you'll get to see what the tracks are like. Hopefully not too much carnage. And yeah, it's gonna be a really good day. So the number board is on. The bike is ready. I'm actually taking a bag now, so I'm not taking a bottle. Just got a pump on the frame. The weather this morning is horrible. Rainy, windy, cold, everything you don't want to have when you're going out for a bike ride, basically. All wrapped into one. About to go and get coffee, and then we go and head up for practice, and see how it goes. This will be a mud bath. Whoa. This. I've seen that before. Oi, you got it. <laughs> Yo, guys, so it's Saturday morning, it's about eleven o'clock. Got about an hour until I leave the house for uh, the pro stage today. So, so we race one stage today on Saturday and then the rest of the five stages tomorrow and Sunday. Just having some breakfast. Kind of a little bit nervous, I'm honest with you. Don't know why, just racing nerves. If I said I was fine, I'm calm, this, that, the other, probably be lying. But I think it's just because I've literally just eaten nothing this morning, just drank coffee, which is not great. And I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro now and um, yeah, strap yourself in. You got it. No. <laughs> what are you doing, uh, short sleeves? Summer. Are you crazy? Summer. It's summer. Yeah, yeah. It's summer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tend not to agree with you. So we're pretty much never top of stage one now. Doing this one stage on one day reminds me a lot like a downhill race, and it almost feels, even though it's not, it all comes down to one run kind of feeling. Certainly feel a little bit of pressure, but also kind of know that there is still five stages tomorrow. My goal for this stage is literally just to keep a high average speed, make sure I get down in one piece, so I go into tomorrow with a fairly decent time. So yeah, looking forward to it.
I could not see a thing. How can you ride like this? I'm freezing seeing you. So that's pro stage done. And I'm obviously back at the house now because it is horrendous weather outside. It's cold, it's wet, it's windy, it's, it's, it's horrible. Worst conditions ever to ride a bike in. I literally went out the start and within like 10 seconds, it was driving rain and I could barely see what was going on. So I ended up riding quite reserved. I got to the bottom and kind of knew I could have gone a little bit faster, which is probably what anybody would say if they held back a little bit. There is a lot of grip on those tracks up in Leithen, especially when it starts raining, it just gets even grippier. I always think I was just a little bit too cautious. Staying on my bike, which is definitely better than having a crash. Okay, so everyone is now finished. The results are in. I'll put the results on the screen so you can see the top like five places. It was pretty expected like the top five, top 10 riders are still gonna be really fast wherever they go. So it's this kind of the same scenario here. I ended up 73rd, which is okay. Like I said, I think I rode a bit too conservative really, but it just to give you an idea of how tight the times were. Uh, I was in 73rd. Now, if I'd have maybe not held back as much and gone a little bit faster, if I'd have gone 10 seconds faster and did a 338 i'd have been probably roughly around 28th place which is kind of cool to see and there isn't anything else going on today so it's kind of like a bit of a nice day to relax go and check the bike over again make sure it's running sweet and then back ready to do it all again tomorrow but only five stages and hopefully the weather's better as well because today was miserable i'll add as well to this the bottom field i'll put some videos on the screen now so you can see but the bottom field was like slalom corners and it had clear tape running around the outside of the the, the track and I'm sure inside the EWS rule book it says you have to ride the track to the best of your ability. Inside these tapes they had like flags like dual slalom flags which I assume was just a way of not having to use like a double layer of tape to keep spectators away from the riders. I guess from a rider standpoint you have to ride between the flags or between the gates which is where most people did is where the main line was. There were a few people I got on video and somebody sent me a video of Richie Rude going outside of the gate and onto the grass. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, too far. Nah, hey, nah. That's bullshit. Which you could say is an advantage because there's more traction there on the grass where no one had ridden. So I don't know if that is gonna be a time penalty or a disqualification or I don't know how it works. That was quite interesting to see. So it'd be interesting to see if he is racing tomorrow or if anybody who went outside the gates is even racing or get a time penalty or what. But. A few minutes. Alex, this is summertime here for you, no? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a short, short <laughs> sleeve weather. Yeah. So just heading up to stage one now. The weather's a lot different today than yesterday. It's quite sunny, which is annoying because I think the tracks end up turning to like peanut butter. I've actually just ditched my bag as well at the bottom of one of the tracks just to save a bit of weight because I know this first stage is quite a physical one, so maybe a bit of shedding weight would be all good. Good. You warm enough with that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cheers. Where am I going there? Christ. Oh. Match.
Oh man! Right up. That was so tall. Holy f You can't stop. You stop, you, you, you stop pedaling, you come to a stop. You could run down the track faster. Bit fresh in the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one.
135 on the push up to fifth stage and it is a mission this is steep i think we're never top hopefully we make the next stage in time you're the only you're the, you're only the second person oh, i've seen in a t-shirt today mm -hmm. you're insane wow. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Try that! Yes, go on. Yes, go on. Try that! Come on, come on. Come on. Try that! Try that!
Yeah. Right. Come on. You got my old jerseys on. I know. Well done. Hang on. <sighs> I told Mum we don't want any of these pictures on a canvas for Christmas. Uh, so that's definitely got to be one of the coolest things. Whole family coming to watch the bike race. Just going back now to the pits and we have to do like a time check-in. And then we've got one more stage to so pedal back up to the pro stage or stage six, which is the same stage as stage one, but the conditions are a lot different, so be interesting to see what happens now. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, bro. Enjoy. Looks a mess down there now. Is this thing flashing red? Yep. Cool. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Thank you for marshalling. Thank you. You have a good run.
So that was Enduro World Series race day here in Tweed Valley and in Leithen. It was absolutely insane having people. Uh, I, don't, I can't even put it into words how amazing the weekend was. The tracks, the atmosphere, the crowds, there was literally people lined on each side of the track on pretty much all six stages. And yeah, yeah kind of speechless, like it was such a, a roller coaster of a day. I've actually got no like words, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I think I ended up like 74th place, which again, doesn't sound great on paper, but I just remind you now that the level of Enduro at these races now, the level of like competition racing skill is absolutely bonkers. You can't afford to make mistakes anymore. You have to be going ridiculously fast. You have to have strengths in every single area of mountain biking and you can't afford to make mistakes. I think I already said that. Ended up 74th. I grabbed myself a 56th place or 57th place on one stage, which I was quite happy with. I just need to now figure out how to tap into that mind frame that I was in when I was riding that stage. I felt really good, really consistent. And again, the crowd just cheered me on and made me go faster. So yeah, if you were there heckling or just at the event, like thanks for coming. It was absolutely amazing. And ironically, the first round of the Enduro World Series in 2022 is in, in Elethan again. So literally cannot wait for that to come around and do it all again. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's been a bit of a long one, but smash like button, help to show it to more people and get yourself subscribed to the channel. I've got some more cool videos coming up now. It's now officially winter, it's raining and it's cold. But yeah, take care guys and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>